morning all. We are out on yet another test ride. It's cold again today. Oh, what has happened to the British weather? It's all gone cold. So we're out on this a AJS Medina. Blue and white, two-tone wheels. Little rack to the front, little rack to the back. And we've got five on the clock already. Final test ride, this goes out to the customer in a couple of days. So we're out, we're going to do the final test ride. Up the hill, down the hill, back to the garage, that's exactly five miles. I have a nice little run on this now, in on the combined brake, front brake and rear brake. Check all the braking, indicators and lights and horn will work because I pre-checked those before I got on the bike. Tire pressures are all good, engine oil is good. I've checked that three times, but we always do multiple checks. God knows why, because it's normally right the first time round, but we do multiple check everything all the time. So while we're doing the test ride, I can waffle on and do my usual guard that I normally do <coughs> for all my uh, subscribers that like to watch me doing customer test rides. Thanks very much for watching. And we had a very good live stream last night, so it's now Thursday morning, Wednesday night, uh, 8 o'clock. As always, every week on a Wednesday is the midweek mumble with the Peaky Biker. And we were joined last night by Noob Biker. Yes, Noob. He was in the room, and it was great to see him on. And uh, obviously myself, I joined in a little bit. Trying to sort of obviously see the screen with my eye. By the end of an hour, my eye was sagging. So, uh, yeah, if you watch the stream, but you see me constantly rubbing my eyes because my eyes were straining watching that screen. Oh, only a week or so to go till I get operated on. Cool, a couple of weeks anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> God, it's cold. Anyway, we had a nice little live stream talking about different bits and pieces and talking about touring and just basically chatting about motorcycles, which was very, very good. So we had a nice little bit of fun. So we're going to go round the roundabout, down the other side, and back to the garage. Job and done. And then... A full day of car MOTs and it's literally just back to back. I'm just on bikes and cars all darn a day. Oh, orange lights, let's stop there then. Oh, someone's just abandoned their car there. Everyone says, what is the little... Uh, thing that is in why have you got a little road off the side of the roundabout loads of people have asked me that in there is the pumping station there was a water pumping station and an electric station in there just down the back buried in the trees in the corner and it's surrounded by trees so you can't say it but there's a little pumping electric station in there and someone's actually done wild camping they caught someone in there camping the other week <laughs> He found a little spot in there, put, pitched his tent up, and uh, he got evicted. Why? He's not causing anybody any harm. But he was camping right in the trees in the middle of the roundabout, bless him. So, uh, yeah, that's what that's for. A little pumping station, and obviously the Shell Garage is closed at the moment for a refurb. McDonald's is still open. And we can still order our uh, Uber McDonald's breakfasts and all that. Right, let's open up the uh, Medina. Look, she's a flyer. And it handles so well, it's a great little scoop. But God, the wind chill this morning, it's ridiculous. It feels like minus 20. It's not, it's probably about zero degrees or something stupid, but sits at 40 nicely. And obviously there is plenty of poke under these. You give it some welly, it will go. But the final test ride, just a quick one, up to the roundabout, back round again just to make sure everything is all good and the bike runs fine. Now this weekend, if you're watching any of these, we are doing the NEC Bike Show. Yes, myself, I'm going up, Peaky's going up, the Z Head is coming down from Scotland. I'm so looking forward to meeting up with Stuart. 
He's such a great guy, he really is, and he's like me, he's finicky, fussy, and his attention to detail. If you've seen any of his videos where he's rebuilding the ZX-9, it looks amazing. I can't wait to see him riding that out on the road, that is going to be such an awesome bit of kit. And I've always been a Kawasaki fan, but so is Stuart as well, he loves his Kawasaki's, but the attention that he's put into doing some of the stuff on that bike, he doesn't do things by halves, it's the, the perfect way, or start it again. So yeah, go and have a look at Zed Head's uh, ZX-9 videos. We're talking about touring, obviously, later next year possibly Black Forest, Austria, or down to France, or maybe do the Isle of Skye, catch up with the uh, the guys from uh, Scotland, and have a ride with them, Lockwood, Grems, and Mark from Ash the Ash of Logster, and obviously Zed Head, and that Square Slice Moto, if you want to check any of their stuff, Square Slice Moto on YouTube, or you can check them out individually, Ash of Logster, Grems, Lockwood 92 or Z Head Motor Vlogs, you can check all, check all those boys out. There's some really good stuff going up on YouTube at the moment, even though it is cold and we are into the winter months. But test ride completed. That's given me, yep, all my miles, so all done. Happy days. Right, we're going to put this one back away because I've got too many bikes out on the yard. The nice XJR is there, that's called him a junior mechanic. So we've got MTO3 in at the moment, if you fancy an MTO3, XJR, RBs is buried back there, and the Maverick as well. But until the next time, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.